everyone, welcome to the Market Trap on Bloomberg Quint Live. Let's take a look at today's session and how the, it has panned out for the entire week. Let's first take a look at what's happened today on the Nifty as well as the Nifty 500. The Nifty day ended, it's been a truncated week. Today ended absolutely flat in trade counters. The banking pack did well. Uh, the top three gainers are the banking counters. Yes Bank reacted or very sharply, it was up almost 8%. State Bank reacting to its numbers up almost 7% and uh, ICICI Bank will report numbers uh, tomorrow ahead of the numbers trading at a 52 week high. The Pharmaceutical pack did well. Uh, Sipla and Sun Pharma managed to move up. What didn't do well uh, was Bharti and Fiftel for the second day in a row is down in trade. Tata Motors ahead of the numbers was down in trade and Titan, uh, surprisingly on Thanteras, Titan is down in trade. So that's what happened as far as the Nifty 50 is concerned. Absolutely flat. Let's take a look at the Nifty 500 and see what it's managed to do for this uh, uh, for this day itself. Uh, so the Nifty 500 was also absolutely flat in trade. Again, the rally started in uh, the public sector insurance companies, GIC as well as as a new India assurance. Uh, PNB housing came out with strong set of numbers uh, after market hours yesterday. That managed to move. Strides came out with numbers today, which was strong. The US growth was extremely strong. And the commentary that the management gave was strong. SBI reacted. Castrol for the second day in a row post the numbers has been reacted positively. Sterlite Tech, very weak set of numbers. The India business was down. The China business was down. So overall, there is a lot of weakness. Interglobe Aviation, one of the biggest drops that we've seen in recent years, came out with weak set of numbers. And they have said that uh, the maintenance cost will move into the next two quarters also. So there is weakness that is there. Bharti Infratel SIS reacting to its numbers. Piramal Enterprises reacting to the big rights issue uh, and the fundraising plan that they spoke about. So this is what happened in trade today. Let's also take a look at how the week has been. It's been a truncated week. Remember, Monday was a holiday on account of uh, the state elections. But if you take a look at what's happened this week itself, uh, the Nifty 50 was absolutely flat in trade. Aishar has been doing rather well for itself. It's up almost 7%. SCL Tech reacting to the numbers. State Bank, uh, ICA ICI Bank reacting, Tata Consultancy has been managing to do well. One of the biggest gainers, Bharti Infratel, was down in trade. Grasim reacted negatively because of the exposure that it has to IDEA and the news that came out. Intercent Bank post the numbers has been looking rather weak. So this is how the Nifty 50 managed to move this week. Uh, let's also take a look at the Nifty 500 and see how it has managed to make this. Again, very, very flat uh, set of numbers. But surprisingly, the ADAG group and the high beta group has managed to move uh, in this week. So you have Reliance Infra, Reliance Power, which managed to move up in trade. Gen Irrigation, which has been a mass underperformer, has managed to move in trade. Uh, ICICI Securities managed to do well. Uh, Reliance Capital again and Cochin Shipyard. Among the companies which didn't do well, uh, Vodafone reacted to the uh, telecom order that came out from the Supreme Court, down 30%. Uh, Dish TV, Bharti, Infratel, uh, Edelweiss, India Bulls Housing Finance, the list is pretty much common. Uh, some of these counters which have actually not been doing well of late. Uh, but uh, let's take a look at some of uh, the counters uh, and how this week has entirely panned out. Monday was a holiday, so we start with what happened on uh, Tuesday. The big event that happened uh, and the news came out on Monday was the whistleblower alleged uh, uh, unethical practices in Infosys. Infosys was down 16%. Uh, Mr. Pandey ap appointed as the uh, uh, DIPM secretary said so that was another event that happened among it was the earnings heavy week so you had access bank which reported losses due to a one-time impact but nevertheless the overall operating performance was decent the asset quality did manage to do well and the counter reacted positively again Asian paints uh, uh, they beat the estimate on deferred tax reversal but the operating profit was rather weak for Asian paints but nevertheless uh, trading at record highs currently the other counter that came out with number on Tuesday was Bajaj finance beat estimates uh, the number was rather good but the counter has been slacking ever since it's managed to fall significantly post the numbers both Bajaj Finance and Bajaj Finserve are down in trade so that's what happened Kotak Mahindra Bank profit was up 51 percent but the internals were somehow little sloppy and that's why Kotak also reacted negatively to its numbers so that was Tuesday on Wednesday the cabinet approved the BSNL MS, uh, MTNL merger that happened in a press event uh, that have came in after market hours the other event that happened uh, on Wednesday uh, included counters like LNT. LNT came out with numbers after market hours on Friday. Uh, it was an inline set of numbers. The commentary was somehow weak. JSW Steel reacted uh, to weak set of numbers. The overall profit was boosted by a one-time gain, but operationally, what not not the best of numbers. HCL Tech definitely reacted positively. They have raised the numbers were good. They raised the guidance. The stock was up five percent on uh, Thursday. So those were the numbers that came in on Wednesday. Uh, Sevi said that they will begin probe on the. 
whistleblower allegation against Infosys and Infosys has been on a downtrend ever since PVR launched the QIP the counter did manage to react positively to the 700 crore QIP Thursday uh, state elections that came in surprisingly with what came in when it was expected to be a whitewash that didn't come in power India retained power in Maharashtra Hyderabad uh, Haryana sorry was a hung assembly but nevertheless the market didn't anticipate this so that was the big event uh, the big event that also happened on on the corporate side was the Supreme Court verdict in terms of the adjusted gross revenues that came in uh, the telecom companies were asked to pay 92,000 crores idea reacted negatively the holding company Grasim reacted negatively Bharti Airtel uh, was down in trade but managed to move up by the end of the day and Bharti Infotel continues to remain weak uh, the other was the press conference that came in from the finance minister India rank 63 in terms of ease in doing business and they rose 14 points so that was uh, that what came on uh, Thursday among the earnings that was ITC came out with the highest quarterly number ever but uh, overall the numbers were pretty much in line with estimate Maruti Suzuki also uh, numbers were in line with estimates it reported the lowest profit in the last four years so that was in terms of the corporate earnings that came in uh, interglobe aviation was the big big disappointment that came in on Friday already spoke about how they have said that the maintenance cost will go over the next two quarters uh, it, it ended down today almost 11 percent surprisingly in today's trade it opened rather flat it opened just two percent by the end of trade it was down 12 percent so that was interglobe aviation what happened happened to the counter now in terms of how the FNO market has managed to pan out in trade uh, we are trading close to the 11,500 level uh, let's take a look at how uh, the market is uh, positioned at this point of time you can clearly see that the call writers are very active from 11,500 to high levels those are the green bars that are there the put writers are active from 11,600 to lower levels so at this point of time the market is not giving any clear direction it will remain range bound around the 11,500 to 11,700 uh, that is the general consensus that we are looking at on the market sense at this point of time uh, in terms of uh, uh, what happened in terms of what we can anticipate uh, as far as next week is concerned a uh, couple of events uh, that will come in uh, over the next one week uh, and that is something you need to watch out for uh, obviously more trade will happen on Sunday Monday is a holiday because of Diwali so no event there but Bharti Infratel uh, is the big earning that will come out on uh, Tuesday that's the nifty earning that will come out on uh, no events on Wednesday Thursday is the fiscal deficit data that comes out uh, Indian Oil Corporation will come out with its earnings so we'll get to know what happens as far as the oil marketing company goes uh, the on Friday you have the India manufacturing data PMI that will come in and on on on, on Friday uh, two big earnings that will come out yes bank will come out with earnings not too much in terms of financial point of view but the management commentary and fundraising plan is something that the market will look at dr. Eddy has been a marked outperformer on the pharma space very important to see the commentary what they give in terms of what the direction that is there on the US market so these are the important earnings it will be light in terms of corporate news over the next one week but uh, with that it's a wrap on uh, today's edition of uh, the market wrap but there's a lot more coming out uh, on Bloomberg Quint so stay tuned to the, to the, to the channel